Hello, it's V and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. Um, as you can see by the title of the video, I am doing a hair tutorial. The title may seem a little bit familiar, but my last do-it-yourself hair toner video was done in 2015. So the reason why I am redoing this video today is because back then um, I did not use any measurement tools. I just kind of eyeballed it, which now that I think about it, it's really not useful for you guys. I'm redoing this video using measurement cups so you guys can actually get the results that are probably more accurate. <laughs> so the hair that you see now on my head is currently the newest update of my hair. So it is now with the do-it-yourself toner in place. Little style so you guys can see how it all blends together. Um, the top part is a little bit warm. End parts, because they are lighter, did receive a little bit more of like a cooler tone so this part is kind of on the grayer almost white side so if you want to see how I got the brass out of my hair using a at-home technique that does not require you to go to a salon then uh, please keep watching this video okay so welcome to the tutorial portion of this video um, all right so let's get going you can see that this is what my hair looks like right now this is strictly only bleach very very brassy so that's why we have this video here to Today. So the important thing is that you are going to need in this tutorial. You are going to need some conditioner of some sort. Um, that is going to be the base of our hair mask. I like to use my favorite conditioner, which is the keratin oil conditioner by Organics. And when I used to dye my hair like pink, blue, purple, my hair was so fried. This stuff um, really helped bring it back to life as much as it could and I love it to death. The second essential piece to this tutorial is going to be the Manic Panic Ultraviolet um, hair dye. This is a semi-permanent hair dye. Don't worry, we're not putting this stuff directly on our hair. We're gonna dilute it quite a bit, so it will just work as a counter to the yellow that we have in our hair right now. We're also going to need a plastic mixing bowl, a mixing brush, a measuring cup. Right now I have 80 milliliters of my conditioner measured in here. Also, I recommend that you use gloves for your hands. For me, I feel comfortable enough that I know my solution isn't going to be as potent enough to make my hands turn purple, so I'm not going to be using gloves today. So an important thing to do before you begin, uh, make sure your hair is obviously clean. The best thing to do is actually to do this right after you shampooed your hair so that your hair is still damp because it will take in the mask a lot better when your hair is damp rather than if it's dry and it'll evenly distribute all throughout your hair. And right now my hair is dry, which means I gotta go wet it right now. <laughs> okay, so now my hair is damp, you know, nice and just towel dried. So the first thing that we're gonna do is brush our hair. So I'm gonna be using my Tangle Teaser hairbrush just to do the job. Okay, so then the next part is that we're going to actually divide our hair into two sections just because it'll be a lot easier to apply the mask this way instead of just having it all scrunched up and all over the place throughout our head. About where my ear is and just pull it back and we're gonna put that into a hair clip. Okay, so here is now the fun part of this whole thing. We're gonna start mixing our mask together. So I have here 80 milliliters of my keratin oil conditioner, um, and I'm just gonna put it in my plastic mixing bowl. Okay, I'm going to put it in my plastic mixing bowl. <laughs> I thought it was gonna come out a lot easier than that. All right, you might need a spoon, something to scoop it out because this stuff is very consistent, as you can see. Now the tricky part with mixing the dye into this is you don't want to add too much at first because if you add too much then you kind of spoil your mask because then you have to keep adding conditioner to get it to lighten up. The first thing you want to do is just add it gradually. I'm going to use a wooden stick here, popsicle stick, just stick. So I'm taking this, I'm going to put it in here. This is approximately um, 10 milliliters of the Manic Panic Ultraviolet dye. So as you can see, it is now all nicely into the bowl, so we're just gonna mix her up. 
100 milliliters of conditioner to 10 milliliters of hair dye. Okay, so my hair is now fully saturated in the hair mask that I created. Um, one thing I will note, I did kind of lie. My hands are ever so slightly actually purple right now, so um, use gloves. I'm gonna leave this in my hair for 20 minutes or so. See you in 20. Um, I rinsed it just as you normally would after a conditioner. Um, you don't need to shampoo it again unless you didn't wash your hair prior to doing these steps. Um, otherwise, yeah, just rinse out the hair mask. My hair does feel very soft, very silky, does not feel dead um, because of the keratin conditioner that I did use as the base for my mask. I find this conditioner is super energizing for my hair and again, it has saved my hair so many times. So yeah, I hope you guys like this new 2019 edition of the do-it-yourself hair toner. More videos are gonna be in the works because I have been away from doing this for way too long and I am just so excited to be making more content and to be back on here with you guys. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!